let's solve a question based on double integration so to find the area bounded by the lines y equal to a plus x and y equal to a minus x x equal to a and a greater than 0 so like in all the previous questions firstly draw the region of integration okay so to draw the region of integration here are the lines which are given are y is equal to a plus x so if you don't know to draw it directly then uh, get some points to plot the graph so y equal to a plus x to draw this suppose i am putting x equal to 0 when x equal to 0 y is equal to a a plus 0 is a now let y equal to 0 i put y equal to 0 so x will be minus a okay so two points are enough to draw uh, a graph so y equal to a plus x so minus a 0 here it becomes minus a 0 and 0 a means this point 0 a okay then draw that line which passes through this this is y equal to a plus x then y equal to a minus x to plot the points for y equal to a minus x there also you put say x equal to 0 here x equal to 0 then y is a then x equal to a when x equal to a this is a minus a is 0 y is 0 and x is a so 0 a and a 0 this is a 0 so it will be straight line passing through this part so straight line passing through these two points you will get it like this okay so this is y is equal to a minus x now next line is x equal to a x equal to a means a straight line passing through the point a so that will be this will be x equal to a okay then now and a greater than 0 means it will be on this positive side the region will be on the positive side so here the region of integration is this triangle okay that is the region of integration then then let's see how to solve this therefore area required area is equal to double integral over now to use dx dy or dy dx you can use any one of that but before that uh, writing the formula just go through just have a look at this region suppose i am doing this as dx dy so when you do this with dx dy consider a strip here that strip moves along this position like this okay from means when it is here its both endpoints are on these lines but when it comes here its endpoints are on different lines so you need to write this as two integrals sum of two integrals so now look for d y dx so if you draw a strip parallel to the y axis always means whether it moves to the left or right or up or down wherever it is its endpoints are on these two lines always so here it will be easy if you calculate by using the formula dy dx so consider a strip parallel to the y axis so i am considering a strip here parallel to the y axis okay then so in this y axis now the lower part of this strip is on the line y is equal to a minus x so lower limit of y is a minus x 
and the upper part is on the line y equal to a plus x okay then for finding the limits of x here when the strip comes here when the strip Mm, uh, strip sweeps this area it comes here till here so at this point value of x is 0 okay because this is a point 0 a this is a point 0 a so here x is 0 and it slowly moves to the right side and touches this line x equal to a so it is 0 to a now integrate this this is equal to 0 to a integral of d by is y limit a minus x to a plus x dx that is equal to limit 0 to a upper limit a plus x minus lower limit a minus x and dx that is equal to integral 0 to a now open this bracket a plus x minus a gets cancelled plus a minus a and x minus minus plus x plus x you will get 2x dx or that is x square divided by 2 will be there and here 1 2 is there that will get cancelled you will get 0 to a or it is a square so the area bounded by the given lines is a square